What's going on guys? I'm back here in the snack room. I uh, got some work to do tonight. It's a little smelly in here. I'm going to clean some of the cages and show you guys some of the snakes, a little bit of updates, things like that. Um, now, sorry I haven't posted a video in a little while. I've been just a little bit busy with life. Uh, you know, shit happens. But I'm going to give you guys updates on some of the snakes, show you guys some of the new enclosures. We did have to move a lot of stuff around um, to make room for other stuff that we got coming in soon. So that's also exciting. Um, but you never know what's going to happen. So make an episode out of it so you guys can enjoy it. Remember guys, if you like my channel, subscribe, share it, get my following up, and I will make more videos. If my following doesn't go up, I'm not gonna make more videos, and then it wouldn't be fun. Now guys, behind me I have my Mexican West Coast Rattlesnake, also known as the Mexican Green Rattlesnake. These guys are found in mostly Western Mexico, all over the place. Beautiful, beautiful rattlesnakes. You see I have a blonde one right there. Uh, he's actually my male and then the other one's my female. I do have to take them out to clean their cage because there's a couple spots in there I need to clean so I can't just spot clean it with them in the cage. Um, now this particular blonde one right there I actually got from my friend Tyler Nolan. You guys have seen him in a previous episode. Um, the other one I got from my buddy Tom Crutchfield down in Homestead, Florida. Hey guys, I don't have a fancy cameraman like Chandler does. But uh, I do have a tripod for my phone that works out pretty nicely. So most of the time my phone is on my tripod so I have hands free so I can handle these snakes. Now they're nice and secure in the garbage can. Um, something I used to do all the time, I didn't really think too much about it, as I used to clean snake poop with my bare hands. I'd just stick my hand in there, grab it, no big deal, whatever. Um, but I learned very recently that it's not a good idea. Vipers shed their fang quite often. Um, I got poked the other day, scared the crap out of me, so I chose not to do that anymore. So with vipers, I use tongs to clean their poop. Um, where a lapidae, you know, cobras, things like that don't really shed their fangs, so theirs is a little easier to clean up with your hands. But the bedding I use um, particularly actually helps a lot with that. It's very easy to clean up snake poop with tongs because you kind of just scoop it up and go pretty easy. And just like that, you have snake poop. Bye bye. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of this stuff out of here, and we're gonna go ahead and put the snakes back. Okay, cage is all clean. I'm gonna go ahead and put the snakes back in it now. I gave them some fresh water. I did spray the cage down a little bit with water just to have some humidity for a couple of days. I know a lot of people think Mexico very dry, but it's not always dry. It does rain there. So I did give them a little bit of humidity in there. Uh, I do like to do that for them probably once every two weeks or so, raise the humidity up. Um, in the cage form. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull them out and put them back in the enclosure now. female right there beautiful as ever I love rattlesnakes most of my collection is rattlesnakes because they are amazing they are beautiful and that guy right there look at that you guys can hear that really well Female down, now let's get the male. I 
Guys, this is the male. I love this snake. You notice he's not really rattling that much. I've been working a lot with him. It's something I love to do with my rattlesnakes. I work with them to try and tame them down a little bit. So they're a little easier to handle. A little easier to handle. He's a big, beautiful snake though. Now this guy is pushing all of four and a half feet easily. It's a big rattlesnake, don't you think? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put him back. All he wants to do is go back in his house. All right, next. All right guys, now here I have my Gaboon Viper. Now I've had her since she was a tiny little death worm. I was really excited when I got her. Um, she's been doing really good for me her entire life. I've had her for, I wanna say almost four years now. Um, I got her from a reptile or dealer. Uh, now these guys actually have the world's largest fangs. I do have some fangs I'll show you guys here in a minute, but I'm going to take her out and clean her cage. Actually, strike that. I don't need to take her out because she is there and her poop is way over here. So it's a lot easier that way. Instead of taking her out, putting stress on the animal, I can just simply take the poop out. Now again, snake over there, poop right here. Scoop it up in the garbage, just like that. Done and done. Now some fresh water. Oh no, I spilled and made a mess. It's okay, it actually just raises the humidity in there. Again, not really too much of a desert snake. It's okay to have some humidity. So now I'm gonna close that up. She's all done, no stress on the animal, just like that. Now here I have my albino eastern diamondback. This rattlesnake is actually het for albino, meaning it's one of its parents were albino, or both of them were albino, so he has the albino gene. And he's pretty much clean except for that. Now that is not snake poop. That is actually what we call urates, which is pretty much snake urine. Now if you look right there, that is his fang, well, one of them. He must have shed it out. So I'm not gonna reach in there and grab that, like I said earlier, but I am gonna take that fang out and put it with my collection. Now I told you I had a collection of fangs, and I'm gonna show you guys that. There, a couple different species in there. The big ones are from the Gaboon Vipers or Rhino Vipers. Some of the smaller ones are from some of the Rattlesnakes. But every now and then when I do see them, I do keep them just because I think it's cool. Now guys, this is my Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. I've had this snake for a very long time. Also got it from my friend Tom Crutchfield down in Homestead. Big, beautiful male right there. He's actually got a little bit of poop right, where is it? There it is. Can't really see it, it kind of looks like the sand, but yes, I'm laying on the floor because this cage is on the floor. Don't mind that. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and take him out now so I can clean that because he's a very active rattlesnake. Most desert rattlesnakes are very fidgety. Um, a lot of the smaller ones, particularly Western Diamondback rattlesnakes are, what, you wanna come say hi? You wanna say hi? Isn't he beautiful though? All right, back to that. I'm going to take him out and clean his cage. Um, so yeah, he's pretty fun to take out because he's always willing to come say hi. You wanna come say hi? No? Okay. We've been very busy moving some cages around, setting some other stuff up. The tall rack right there, which was actually originally there, moved it over there, put another cage on top. I'm gonna to set that up for another rattlesnake I have. 
move some stuff around. I put my female cobra in there to separate him, separate her from the male for a little bit. There's Rontu. Say hi, Rontu. Oh, wiener. Gotta love your wiener. All right, Rontu, out, 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 out. All right, but all of the squams are still there. The Wiser Temple Viper. Got the day gecko in there somewhere. Rattlesnakes down there. These rattlesnakes still over here. Right there, I got the Goliath bird eating tarantula. She's actually started making her burrow, which is really cool. Maybe I'll feed her tonight, we'll see. Got some pygmy rattlesnakes there. My pygmy up there, which is actually going over there. Big empty cage there. I'm gonna get some more cages here shortly, but fun stuff. So, here's Chandler's little rattlesnakes. It's a nice, awesome setup for him. Now guys, this weekend I do have to go back up to Okeechobee, so I'm gonna be filming some more stuff there. So you guys can see the bears, the lions, all that other fun stuff they got there. They got lots of tigers, lemurs, lots of stuff I'm going to film and show you guys. A lot of the animals I work with are really, really cool animals. Hopefully you guys do enjoy them. I don't go crazy with this stuff. I'm Like I said, I'm new to this YouTube thing. So if you guys enjoy it, tell me. Let me know. Hopefully you guys do. I'm going to feed some snakes now. I got some rats defrosting. I got to feed some of the cobras now. I'm going to show you guys that. They're a little underweight because during breeding season I do not feed them. Um, but breeding season is now over, so I'm going to feed my pair of cobras for you guys so you guys can see that. Cobras are really cool when they eat. They love to jump out of the cage at you. Okay, so I stand corrected. I defrosted chicks, not rats. But, nevertheless, I have to feed these beautiful animals. So... She's being cranky. I'm gonna leave those right there for her. She will eventually find them and eat them. Let's see if the male wants any. He's in here somewhere. There he is. The tongs. That's still not the top. No, no, here, here, here. There you go. He got it. It's already starting to eat it. And now the female is starting to eat hers. Now I do have two left. I'm going to feed Chandler's little gaboon one. Grab my handy dandy tongs. thing in one bite. Nice. You guys do see I have one left. This one is something I haven't posted online before, but it's been on Chandler's page before. But for this we have to go outside. So a little bit cold tonight. Not sure if he'll eat it, but we will see because he usually loves to eat. Let's see, where is he? Oh, there he is. Buried. Look at that. Look at that. That is my common snapping turtle. Oh, oh, oh. 
Got it. Awesome. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. I'll see you guys this weekend. I'll be filming some more up in Okeechobee with some other animals. Remember, if you guys like the channel, subscribe now. Share it. What's up, guys? You see I have a little guest here. This is Draco. Say hi, Draco. Hi, Draco. He's awesome. He's a spectacle owl. Um, these guys are actually from Central America. They're a tropical owl. They're really, really cool. He's still a juvenile, um, so he still has that white coloration. They look like white fluff balls when they're babies. Uh, but that'll all change. He'll become very dark in color um, with a little bit of white on his face, and that's about it. But Draco's spending the night at my house tonight. Chandler actually just used him for a show. But then he'll be going back to my sister's house tomorrow. Isn't that right? You want to go home to mommy? Yeah, I know. Awesome, awesome bird. I'm going to tag my sister's Instagram, guys, so you can check her out. She's got a lot of cool animals, and she's actually where I got my start from with Venomous. But I'll go over to her house and film an episode soon, and you guys can check that out. Say bye, Draco. Say bye, Draco. Ever look down on an owl? Yeah. That's what you look like, buddy. Yep. He's like, what in the world is that? <coughs> He's such an awesome bird. Such an awesome bird. He actually loves to be pet. <laughs>